Hello, I'm Karen Martin, and today in the studio, I'm joined by Patrick Reed, the CEO of LASER. Hello, Patrick. Hi, Karen. Hi, everybody. Today, Patrick and I discuss some of the big challenges for 216 in the industry. So, Patrick, we're going to discuss a few issues. 215 was a big year, with the reforms continuing, the introduction of consumer directed care, and the overhaul of My Age Care. We've seen funding changes, a new minister, a move back to health. New programs such as the Severe Response Behaviour Teams. What's on the cards for 2016? Yeah, Karen, it has been a big year. Um, a lot of challenges out there. And I think for us, looking uh, outwards and uh, for this year, will be the federal elections a big one. Um, so the, on the horizon, um, we're going to hear a lot of promises. And I think that the real challenge will be around uh, making sure that funding's recommitted to the industry, um, that there is a recognition of the significant demographic shift as well. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to see the baby boomers turn 70 for the first time. Um, and of course, they will impact the calculations on who's eligible for aged care. So it's a really big change. To they the will for sure. <laughs> yeah. So within that, I think the increase in numbers included in items um, around the ration will be a real change for the industry, but also too, how we meet that demand will be critical. And Patrick, what about quality? Of course, it's a key theme. Yeah, quality is a big pillar for aged care and of course for laser itself. And I think the debate will continue about what quality looks like today. Uh, and of course, there's a review of the standards, a re re review of accreditation. So within that, um, you know, that'll be due out hopefully in 2016. Mm -hmm. um, but also too, the 2015 budget, uh, we had full cost recovery of 30.7 million from the providers. But with that, which people don't realise, is that we actually have an opportunity there for privatisation of accreditation. Uh, so that will be interesting to see how that rolls out. And I think we have the opportunity in aged care to really build a framework around what quality looks like, but also to uh, what the safeguards are, the standards uh, for innovation, uh, and of course, trying to reduce unnecessary red tape and ensure that compliance continues. Yes, of course. And what are some of the specific changes that we'll see this year, do you think? Well, 1st of January has already gone past and we've seen the change in the complaint system. Uh, so the yeah. aged care complaints have moved to the aged care commissioner. Uh, and of course, we're going to see the first of the legislation for consumer fund holding, uh, which will come out in the first two weeks of parliament, which will be in February. So they're big changes, mm -hmm. um, big changes to the way that we view and fund aged care. Um, I think the other one we're going to see, of course, is the continued rollout of the severe behaviour response teams. Yes. Um, Lasers expressed its concern around that and the, the ability of these teams to build capacity and capability in aged services. I think the real challenge there will be just how people deal with dementia. Um, it is now core business for all of us. It uh, it's not just a niche. So within that, how do we respond to severe behaviours, but also to dementia entirely? And I think that's a real challenge for the industry throughout 2016 and onwards. Yeah, so the Aged Care Sector Committee, it's done the roadmap. Can you tell us a bit more about that? Yeah, so this is a committee set up by the Minister, um, under Minister Fifield and now under Minister Lee, uh, to look at what the future of aged care might look like. And really it's, it's owned by the stakeholder of industry, it's co-produced and co-designed by those people. So it's LASER, uh, it's the consumers and other providers within the system. So it's a real opportunity to give some direction to what the future looks like. And for us, I think uh, with the election on the horizon, the real challenge there is to show that there is actually a pathway uh, yes. to meet demand and expectation around what aged services can provide. So thanks, Patrick, for joining me today. And I'd like to wish you and everybody at LASER a happy new year. And of course, all of you out there, a happy new year to you too. Thanks, Karen, and to everybody out there. I hope you had a great break.